Okay, so we don't have slides, but we do have a fairly verbose readme, which I'm going to use in new. Um, so we've called the project Software Twilight. Um, basically, the, the problem is that um, often if you come across a project, you don't know if it's being maintained, when it's going to stop being actively developed, if it already has. Um, and so often there are two eventualities. The software's development ends abruptly and nobody knows about it, or there's some end user support, um, but no new feature development. And we have tried to develop a tool to communicate what the maintenance or end of life plans are and when those come into force. Um, so we have these GitHub badges. Um, these are some examples. So there's Twilight Plan, which is the plan you have for maintenance and then twilight date which is some date when the plan will come into force and the questions and we've created a questionnaire to um guide you to the right pair of badges to use for your repository which cover things like funding the amount of support that will be provided um, and contactability and so on so i'll hand over to diego for a demo Yep, yeah, so let's share my screen. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you are seeing my screen. Yes, okay. So this is the repo. Uh, we have here a binder. We launch a bound binder and it's launching. Hopefully it will work because it should, why not? Um, and then we, we have a created the the instead of creating a web page from scratch we have created the web page the web app uh, for filling this questionnaire using Jupyter widgets uh, and using a tool to automatically deploy that as a web app this is the questionnaire uh, with the first question well, with some small introduction the first question uh, deployed okay uh, has a bit of fix and date okay yes is there any development on maintenance project? Let's say yes. Uh, is there funding? Okay, no, there's not. So when you get to one thing that puts an end to the questionnaire, uh, you get the markdown code that you can copy and paste uh, into your readme file and will give you the batches that are similar to these two uh, filled with the, whatever information uh, is relevant for the project. So uh, at the moment, there is, uh, if you want to repeat the, the questionnaire for another, uh, from the project, you go back again and start from the beginning. There are some issues, as you can see, these don't, don't disappear. And the decision tree of the questions is not yet ready, but uh, it is it is up and running in principle. So I I give uh, the the word to Bailey. Yeah. Um, so as far as infrastructure of the project, um, we have. Um, as you've seen, we have a, a GitHub repo that contains everything where we've got files about um, like the licensing. We have, as you've seen, our very verbose readme contributing guidelines and a code of conduct. Um, and as far as how we've developed the project, we, we did this very collaboratively using um, REPL.IT for the collaborative Python development um, and for, for users, we, that there are very few, well, there are no dependencies, really, they just need to run the binder app in their web browser. Um, and our teamwork, um, the, the project was divided into kind of three parts, the back end, the interface, and the front end. Um, and we had a back end and a front end team, and then we collaborated on the interface, um, making decisions through discussion and, and then deciding as a group on the way to move forward that made sense. So I think we, we did manage to accomplish a lot more than we would have done if we were working individually on this. Um, and uh, um, most of us use Python, um, but for those who didn't, they they build out supporting documents like the README and um, 
also consulted on the decision tree design and overall project design.